police chief confirming that there are multiple fatalities involved with this tragic situation at the Amazon Fulfillment Center there just off 255. He also tells us that search and rescue efforts are ongoing as we speak, and those efforts could continue for some time. We can show you some video uh, taken when this scene was unfolding last night. Let me break down what we know at this point. The chief of police, Mike Philback, telling us this all happened just a little after 8.30 last night when that apparent tornado just tore through that facility, really destroying, in the chief's words, much of the south portion of that massive warehouse area. One of the difficulties that they're having at this point, that authorities are having, is trying to get a solid count of the amount of workers who were in the building at the time. Amazon officials are at the site there trying to compile a list so that authorities can work off that list and make sure everyone is accounted for. They are estimating that there could have been about 50 people inside that fulfillment center at the time of the tornado, uh, that storm moving through. Here is the figures we can bring you at this point. About 30 people were able to get out on their own and were taken by bus to the Pontoon Beach Police Department. One person who was rescued from the rubble was taken by helicopter to a St. Louis hospital. We don't know the condition of that person. There were a few other minor injuries there and then the fatalities, which we do not have an accurate count of right now. I asked the police chief if they are hearing any sounds coming from the rubble so they know where the search for people. He told me at this point he did not know of any communication, any kind of noises that they're hearing at the site from that rubble. But as you might imagine, as you can see in that video, there are multiple challenges for crews there. In addition to the stacked up rubble in connection with the collapse of the building, they were also dealing with water issues initially because obviously the water lines were broken. And then they had power line issues to contend with. The power there has now been turned off as has the gas. In terms of how long the search and rescue could continue, Mayor Rizavi, the mayor of Edwardsville, telling us this could go on today, possibly into tomorrow, and maybe the next day as well. At this point, there is no timeline for when that search and rescue uh, might tragically turn into a search and recovery. The police chief, though, making it very clear at this news conference that they are committed to staying at that site until every single person is accounted for. One of the priorities, Ty, going forward here today is going to be to try and establish that accurate list so that authorities know just how many people were in that building so they can know just how many people might be left in that building at this point. One other factor there, the chief also telling us in this news conference that some of the people did leave the scene who were able to get out. So there's still a lot of moving parts. And when the sun comes up, I'm sure authorities are going to be able to get perhaps a little better idea of what they're dealing with. But just a tragic situation here last night with that tornado moving through, devastating that Amazon warehouse there, multiple fatalities, People hurt a massive cleanup job now ahead for the community here. The mayor asking people to keep those Amazon workers in their thoughts and prayers. For now, live in Edwardsville, Chris Renier, Fox News.